Here are the most common mistakes to avoid when using a circular saw. Mistake 1. Bypassing the safety devices. It is simply forbidden to block the guard, to remove the guard, or to modify the saw to lock it in an on position. Put the saw aside and stop using it if the guard isn't working properly, even just a little. And if regular maintenance doesn't fix the problem, have your saw serviced by a qualified repair person that is recognized by the manufacturer. Mistake 2. Making the cutting depth too deep. The larger the contact area with the blade, the higher the risk of kickback. Adjust the blade so that it extends about one-eighth of an inch below the material. That's less than a full tooth. Mistake 3. Supporting the workpiece with your hands, legs, or feet. In these positions, it is difficult to avoid an accident when kickback occurs. The workpiece must always be secured to a stable surface before cutting. Mistake 4. Holding the saw with one hand. Your free hand can accidentally end up in line with the blade. Careful! Don't ever place your fingers under the workpiece. In this position, the guard will not protect you. You have to maintain a firm grip with both hands while cutting. If both hands are holding the saw, they cannot be cut by the blade. Mistake 5. Positioning yourself in line with the blade. It isn't always possible to control kickback forces. That's why you have to position your body on one side of the blade, not in line with it. Mistake 6. Cutting without supporting large panels. Without adequate support, the kerf will close down and pinch the blade, causing binding and kickback. You need to place small pieces of wood on either side of the cut and at both ends to properly support the workpiece. Mistake 7. Sawing vertically. Even if it's tempting, you can't substitute a tool for another to save time. When you need to cut a vertical surface, use a reciprocating saw. Mistake 8. Placing the foot of the saw on the wrong side of the cut. To avoid blade binding and kickback, the foot of the saw should always be firmly supported by the workpiece, not placed on the section that will fall off after the cut. Mistake 9. Removing the saw from the workpiece while the blade is moving. If the blade is still moving, it can dig into the wood, causing the blade to climb out of the kerf and jump back at you. Always hold the saw still until the blade has stopped moving. Then remove the saw. Mistake 10. Restarting the saw with the teeth engaged into the workpiece. The contact will likely cause kickback. First, center the blade in the curve. Then start the saw and allow the blade to reach full speed before continuing the cut. Mistake 11. Putting the saw down before it has come to a complete stop. An unprotected coasting blade will cause the saw to walk backwards, cutting whatever is in its path. Always wait for the blade to stop moving and for the guard to be closed before putting the saw down. Obviously, a circular saw is made for sawing but you need to know how to use it properly and ask yourself if it's the right tool for the job. By the way, most circular saws are made for right-handed people, but there are also models for left-handers. Turn to the APCHQ's prevention programs and action sheets for more details and all the safety instructions you need to know.